everyone. Today, um, I'm answering a question from my hash, uh, which is listed under my video of add hyperlinks to Excel files in batches. So in that file, as a quick recap, um, I, um, I share with you a method of if you have multiple tabs of, say, different employees, how do you add the link to different sheets in a summary tab uh, using macro? So Mahesh has a question here, which I found very interesting. Um, he's trying to uh, create another hyperlink, which is a return to summary um, hyperlink that actually uh, embedded in each of the individual um, employee tab, but then it links back to the summary. So it's going to be something like this. So this is our summary page. But then if you look at every single uh, employee list, uh, employee sheet here, you have a link of return to the summary. And then if you click on it, it's going to return to the summary tab. So this can be very handy when you have multiple, like hundreds um, of tabs, of course. So I'm going to show you today um, how um, I can respond to how, uh, Mahash's question with, again, some simple um, macro code. So, um, of course, you can create uh, those links um, manually, but this is going to be the code that I'm sharing with you uh, here. So, again, it's just only a couple of, um, a couple of lines. It's not complicated, and let me explain to you what it means. Uh, so, the first, um, so still, like, the uh, the comments are in green. Uh, it's um, my summary of how I want the codes to work. It's a way to organize my logic. So my logic is to first create the hyperlink for one of the tabs and then loop it for every single uh, employee sheets. So first, I need to define uh, the worksheets and workbooks to a name of sheets and book, but you can name it anything you want. And then you need to add, uh, set uh, the book as your active workbook. And of course, the sheet is going to be um, active worksheets as well. Um, and the next line of code is on error resume next. So uh, what's happening is that the code below is going to loop uh, from the first employee tab and then to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, until it hits the last one, right? Like it doesn't matter how many sheets you have. Uh, it's going to hit the last one. And then when you have the last one, uh, the code itself cannot um, detect and it's going to show you a bug. And this is uh, why you need to add this line of on arrow resume next. So um, Excel is going to tell you, okay, if you come across that bug, then just resume the next and finish it. So that, that's really what it is. Uh, and then the next line of code is actually this part is where the loop is. So we're telling Excel that for each sheet, um, each employee sheets that we have in this book, active workbook, and in all the worksheets, all the worksheets, um, we want to um, choose the next active sheet. So when you do this, like say if you're on the summary sheet um, and then look at your code, uh, the code is going to say, okay, on your active sheet, move to the next, select the next, and then go to range H1, which is um, actually the cell that we choose, the H1. Like the, Again, you can choose anything else, but just to note that uh, it's going to be defaulted to cell H1 for every single tab. So just make sure you don't have any content uh, in that cell for each of the tabs. Uh, and then we say, okay, select the tab. And then the next part is actually going to be similar to uh, what we have in this spreadsheet, uh, which is that we are going to display the text as return to summary. Uh, we're going to add the hyperlink uh, and the address is going to be the summary tab, cell A1. So this is really why when you click on this, you get to sell a one of uh, the um, summary tab and then you just go to the next sheet and then you end this up and basically that's it. So let's run this again um, so that you know it's working. So just just to make sure, because you see I've already run it, so it's now returned to summary. So let me change the text to display to return to summary 
two or like two to do and then let me rerun this and let's see what comes up yeah so now the tag is gonna be two 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 uh, every time you run it um, uh, this one doesn't work uh, which actually go to the summary sheet and then rerun it and then yeah so now you see every single tab should work and just make sure that when you run the uh, uh, macro code always start from the summary tab okay so now let actually let's remove it uh, and then rerun it and then you are gonna have this link in every single tab you need okay so this is what I'm sharing with you today and um, I hope that it's helpful to you and Mahash, I hope that uh, it answers your question. Thank you for watching.